हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एनर्जी प्रॉफ आई एम देवाशीष दवान टुडे आई विल डिस्कस ऑन बॉयलर ड्राफ्ट नेचुरल एंड आर्टिफिशियल ड्राफ्ट सो एट फास्ट आई विल डिस्कस ऑन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द बॉयलर ड्राफ्ट द नेचुरल एंड आर्टिफिशियल ड्राफ्ट एंड दे आर मेकनिज्म एंड द एडवांटेज एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट at first we will discuss on the concept of the draft draft is basically the pressure difference we know that the gas is flowing from the high pressure zone to low pressure zone so there is a difference of the pressure so in the case of boiler system this pressure difference is caused by the use of the chimney or the use of the blower or fans in the case of the chimney the pressure difference is caused by the difference of the density of air and gases so the draft is defined as the pressure difference between the absolute gas pressure at any point in a gas flow passes and the atmospheric air outside the boiler required to maintain flow of the air and exhaust gases through the boiler setting this draft is draft system can classified as natural draft and the artificial draft the natural draft is produced by the chimney and this artificial draft are classified as steam jet and the mechanical draft in the case of steam jet draft this draft is caused by the steam jet and in the case of mechanical draft fan or flow blower is produce this draft the mechanical draft is classified as induced draft forced draft and balanced draft in the case of balanced draft the force and induced draft is used as a combination and the steam jet draft it is classified as induced draft and forced draft natural draft the natural draft is obtained naturally by the use of the chimney so in the boiler system there is not required any fan system only chimney is the system which causes the draft means pressure difference as we know that the pressure is the rho into g into h that means the to produce the draft the pressure difference delta p is equal to density difference of the air and the gas into g into height of the chimney so draft is a function of density and the height of the chimney if height of the chimney increases this draft will be increased and you see that if density of gases reduce means the total draft will be increased but see that this density means gas gas density can be reduced by increasing the temperature of the flue gases there are different advantages and disadvantages of the natural draft at first we will discuss on the advantages in the natural draft system there is not required any external power because there is no fan and so the capital investment is also less and the maintenance cost is also low because there is no mechanical part for the absence of the fan or other equipment and in the case of chimney height of the chimney is required to be high so it prevents the contamination of the atmosphere by the polluted gases and this chimney has a long life and there are different disadvantages because this chimney has some limitation of its height and hardly 10 to 20 mm of water column can be produced by the chimney density of the air which is dependent of the temperature if air temperature increases then the produced draft is less and the other side to reduce the density of exhaust gases high temperature 
is to be maintained in the chimney but it results in the loss of the overall plant efficiency and this maximum utilization of the heat is not possible so artificial draft is required because of insufficient heat and lack of flexibility the use of natural draft is limited to small capacity boilers and in the actual power plant more draft like 300 mm of water column is required that cannot be possible by the natural draft system so basically above 40 mm of water column draft the artificial draft system is required at first i will i will discuss on the force draft system in this force draft system the blower or fan is installed very near to the furnace or grating system and this chimney is not much significant for producing the draft because the fan or blower pressure is sufficient to maintain the draft system induced draft system in this system the fan or blower is installed very near to the chimney this fan sucks the flue gases in the boiler system and this and the pressure in the boiler system is less than the atmospheric air and the draft produced by the induced draft system is the sum of the draft produced by the fan and the draft produced by the chimney so for the ease of understanding i have prepared this table for comparison of force draft and induced draft system in the case of force draft system fan or blower is placed before the grate or furnace and in the case of induced draft system fan or blower is placed after the grate or furnace and normally it is installed before the chimney the in the case of force draft system the pressure inside the flue gases is slightly more than the atmospheric pressure whereas in the induced draft system the pressure inside in the flue gas is slightly less than the atmospheric pressure because the fan sucks the flue gases so a small vacuum is created in the flue gas path in the case of force draft system fan requires less power whereas in the induced draft system induced draft fan is is used which requires more power in the case of force draft system the flow of flue gases through the boiler is more uniform but in the case of induced draft system the flow of flue gases is not so uniform like force draft system in the case of force draft system as the pressure in the flue gas path, path is little more than the atmosphere so there is a danger of fire and pollution in the case of leakages of flue gases but a little vacuum is created in into the flue gas path so there is no danger of fire or pollution in the case of leakages because in the case of leakage the atmosphere air can be entered into the flue gas path now we will discuss on the balanced draft system and why it is required for the balanced draft system in the balanced draft is created in the combination of the forced and induced draft if you see in this figure you see that the blower or fan is installed here and here and the draft is maintained with the help of both fan but here one question is why balanced draft is required if you analyze then in the case of the force draft system if used in alone then the furnace cannot be opened either for firing or inspection because high pressure inside the furnace will try to 
blow out suddenly and there is a chance of blowing out the fire completely and furnace stops and in the case of induced dust system if used alone then furnace cannot be opened either for firing on inspection because the cold air try to rush into the boiler system as the pressure inside the furnace is below the atmospheric pressure and this reduces the effectiveness of the draft and dilutes the combustion so to overcome these difficulties force draft and the induced draft system are used in a combination which is the balanced draft system and it is preferred always now we will discuss the advantages of the mechanical draft over natural draft the mechanical draft is better in control and more economical than the natural draft the better distribution and mixing of air with fuel is possible therefore the quantity of air required per kg of fuel is less in the case of balanced draft system or the force or induced draft system the mixing of air with the fuel is better than the natural draft system so the rate of combustion is high also in the case of the mechanical draft system the air flow can be regulated according to the requirement by changing the draft pressure but in the case of natural draft system it cannot be regulated as it is dependent on the density difference of the air and flue gases but in the case of natural draft system this cannot be regulated as this is dependent on the temperature of flue gases and the air temperature in the case of natural draft system the draft is produced at the cost of thermal efficiency of the plant because the exhaust gases temperature is maintained in high enough so this high temperature heat cannot be used in the boiler system but in the case of mechanical draft system the exhaust gases can be cooled to lowest possible temperature before exhaust and improves the overall thermal efficiency of the plant because the draft is maintained by the force draft or induced draft or balanced draft system it is not fully dependent on the chimney the height of the chimney used in mechanical draft can be reduced sufficiently as the function of the chimney is only to ex exhaust the gases high in the atmosphere to prevent the contamination that means in the case of the mechanical draft system the chimney mainly functions as a prevention of contamination of the pollutants and it is not used for the producing the draft the efficiency of the mechanical draft is nearly 7% whereas the efficiency of the chimney draft is hardly 1% the mechanical draft system more economical the fuel consumption per kilowatt due to mechanical draft is very less than the natural draft but the major disadvantage of the mechanical draft is the high capital cost required and the high running and maintenance cost of the fans used in the case of mechanical draft the different equipment like fans is used and for this rotating equipment there is a high maintenance cost and running cost also so i think you understand well if you have any question please write in the comment box and if you like my channel please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of the next videos and please like and share the videos